Hi everyone, this is a typical day here in the UK. It's uh, cold, grey, miserable, raining. And what I wanted to do is to demonstrate to you a new way I've got for warming up uh, limbs. Uh, and I just want to share this with you. So I'm just going to be cooling my hands down a little bit. I'll stay indoors, I think, uh, for this. But uh, to keep my hand out, but I'll be lowering the temperature of my hands and uh, showing you how we can improve the situation for your physiological cooling. The temperature outside when I was testing this a little bit earlier was 16 degrees, internal temperature of the house was 22 degrees and what I've done is I've bought a warming mat. This one is made by a company called Boira and I'll just show it to you. So it's got a washable uh, cover which is very important. You can see here, over here the uh, coils as well which uh, heat it up and basically it's really a uh, warming device for people with neck and lower back issues as, uh, sort of to soothe them but um, you can actually use this to warm people up as well and uh, it's very configurable because it's literally designed to fit different parts of the body so you can configure it to uh, look like a, a glove so we can sort of roll it up like so and then place the uh, hands in it like that and you can even sort of tuck the end in too so you can sort of keep it nice and thermally uh, sort of tight and sealed over there and the nice thing as well is that it really does sort of wrap around a fair bit of the hand too um, so that's superior really to sort of the water bath type of method um, you can also even if you wanted to um, sort of wrap it around this way across the arm and really get the entire length um, of the arm too and it's got a special attachment as well which can add a, an additional lock on but I just can't demonstrate that to you uh, single handedly um, at this moment in time. Of course you can also put it down on the lower limbs as well um, and so that's a very useful uh, thing to be doing in order to warm up the uh, lower limbs if that was required. So uh, this thing has got a number of different settings um, so, so this goes from naught to, three, well obviously naught is uh, zero, but um, you go one, two and three. Um, number three is uh, nice and warming actually, doesn't get burning hot, which is an important thing from a safety perspective really, um, and it really does do a good job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like in terms of warming this up. Uh, when I did this a little bit earlier in terms of using my right hand um, as a control and my left hand which was uh, encased and englobed in this for about three minutes and uh, I'll just sort of show you how long lasting the effect of that really was so um, this was actually a very interesting and very useful test and I'll just show you the temperatures now. For the sake of expediency I'll just show you the temperatures here to begin with the um, control hand is only at about 29 degrees Celsius. I then switch over to the warmed hand after three minutes and you can see that its temperature is about 33 degrees Celsius. I then switching back several minutes later to the control hand and that's only risen to 30 degrees so not much shift over there and then I'm switching back to the warmed hand about five minutes after all of that and it's still at uh, the 32 33 degree uh, stage so uh, quite a lasting effect i hope you found this video useful if you're a neurophysiologist looking for different options to uh, warm up the limbs obviously this isn't for very public consumption otherwise um, but i hope you did find it useful if you have please do support the channel by liking sharing and subscribing really do appreciate your support and i uh, hope to see you in the next video shortly and uh, hopefully that will be a little bit, a bit more broader in terms of uh, who that's going to be uh, targeting so all the very best